brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. So me and my wife are actually in about 20K worth of debt. And uh, we weren't in this shape last year, but circumstances kind of changed for us. And uh, we've got three credit cards to have pretty high interest on them and we have a car that we bought when we actually had a little bit of money we paid cash for and my question was do we sell the car to pay off those two high interest rates cards and then turn around and then throw everything extra at that other card it has no interest on it and it's a low payment okay Um, so wait a minute you were debt free and then you ran up twenty thousand dollars on credit cards yes sir and now you want to sell the car that's paid for that has no payment in order to knock out some of the cards. Yes, sir. Okay. Why do we? Why do you believe the stupid has left your house? Well, I'll put it this way: um, I'm a Christian, born again, and I had to repent of my money mismanagement, along with some other things. Uh, loving my wife like Christ loved the church, being one of the others. I've kind of got a hold on that one, or at least I'm putting forth the effort, not just saying I'm trying now. And I truly, in my heart, do not want to go back to where we were last year. What did um, you spend this on. money on, man? Well, we sold our house. We had got it under a previous administration for a very low price. Obviously, the administration changed, and we were able to make uh, profit after the mortgage and everything about 90,000 and debt free with 90,000 in our savings account. And through pretty much taking that, um, well, it wasn't 90 K. Josh, what did you spend $20,000 on with credit cards? Oh, um, so we live in a rental and we pay rent by pretty much working on it. What do you spend on the credit cards? Well, about 8000 of it was home redecoration. And there home we go. Redoing. Okay. On a house and you don't own. Exactly. And then the rest of it was dumb decisions. And um, what happened to the ninety k in profit? There ain't anything here that's been a smart decision. What was the dumb decision? <laughs> well, pretty much everything uh, that we spent that money on was dumb. And the bad thing is, I've been a listener for. Okay, much here, here's here's why we're asking. Let me stop. Here's why we're asking this, hon. If you don't stop what puts you into the credit card debt, and you sell the car, you'll repeat the pattern. So, right. yeah. So I need the two of you as a couple to go through Financial Peace University. We're going to pay for it, so that you guys really get a handle on doing a budget together and not spending any money that you don't have. And please don't ever spend money to fix up someone else's house. Ever again. I agree. Ever again. There is no situation that that makes sense. None whatsoever. Um, and I if, agree. And so, um, and anything we're going to buy from this point forward, we're going to pay for it. Now, what's your household income? Uh, currently, we make about 3500 A month? Yes, sir. Okay. And so only one of you is working. Um, my wife works part time. She works mornings, and then do you have children? Watch. Yes, sir. We have an 18 month old, and have another on the way. Good for you. That's exciting. Okay. Sounds like you need to work on your income side of the equation too, don't you? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm actually uh, trying to get two part-time jobs as well, one for the morning before my work, yeah. or my wife's work and before mine, and then one in the evening as well. Good for and you. Those applications are pending. That's a good start, and then we need to say, okay, what are we going to do that makes me sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 a year? What do we, how are we going to move into that in the next year and a half to two years so we don't work part-times the rest of our life to survive? Right. Okay. And I think and you I take your side hustles business. right now and you pay off the 20000 and you keep the car. Yeah, pay, so, paying, you know, getting rid of the car, it's not freeing up a payment. And so all you're doing is leaving yourself without a car, without changing behavior. Exactly, exactly. So you hang on. We'll have the team pick up and get you signed up for Financial Peace University and the Every Dollar Premium, both as our gift. Now, the two of you as a couple sit down and work on that, and that's going to tell you i got to work on my income and I've got to work on my outgo, and we don't buy anything else we can't afford. Because here's the sad story i think i just heard we sold a house made a bunch of profit 
and now we have pissed it all away. That's what I just heard. And so now with a brand new baby, we get to start again. And when we had $100,000 in our pocket earlier, 90, anyway. So, yeah, the car is not your problem, honey. Your income is your problem. Your lack of management is your problem. And you're, no, uh, you're like a dog I used to have. You don't have an off button for spending. This dog would eat itself into oblivion. I mean, you just, if you put food out, it, it would get so fat. Mm. It was just, it did not have an off button for food. It just eat and eat and eat. Well, and no some people, some people that way with spending. You just spend and spend. Oh, now we can't do it anymore. Look at that. And now we well, got to sell the, the credit card. card looks like unlimited food to the dog. Exactly. It's exactly we'll right. We'll just keep racking it up. Doesn't have an off button. It will run your butt up into debt. I mean, it'll act, act like you're in Congress or something. That's what's going on there. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.